Hi Lori, this is Rebecca with your assignment one changing context critique. So great work trying to do some hand coloring. I know that it is not easy at all. <laughs> so I understand the frustration and um, I know that you're just learning. So uh, I totally get it. The um, I think that you have some good things going on here. The roses look great and especially in her hair. Uh, their eye color is like really vivid and you got their lip color on there pretty nicely. These ribbons look really nice and I like what you did with the locket. Uh, there's a few areas that could use a little more attention. I'm not sure what's happening with this tie. It feels like something was almost pasted on but I just can't quite tell. So the tie is um, distracting because it's like this sharp edge around it and everything else is pretty soft. Um, so the other thing is like I, you had said something about having a hard time figuring out what uh, selection tools to use. So now that you know how to use the refine edge selection, I would recommend going in and doing like these hairlines. Um, this right here, this is just such a sharp edge there and also up around here. So I would use the refine edge tool around their hair lines and, and give that another try. Also, uh, the veil got caught up in this background color and the, there's some added color on this part and same with up here. So, you know, just take your time and over here. You gotta take your time, you gotta zoom really far in. You know, you gotta make your brush very small and you just gotta try to use as much control in your hand as you can. There's some more, an area right here that the, the dress got overlapped with color. Um, there's some little overlappage on his hand. And that's that's about it that I see there. So um, these colors, these flowers in the in the bouquet, uh, I don't think those should be yellow. Just the roses themselves. And this rose got left out. There's a little extra over here that the refinage tool would help clean up a little bit to include that. So I mean, I think that you got started on the hand coloring, but you didn't quite complete it. So like not coloring their skin tone um, makes it look uh, like just like a, a hand tinting effect as opposed to coloring the whole image and I think that if you were to color their skin it would it would really make it feel more com more finished um, if, including their hands you got to make sure you get their hands a lot of people forget to do that because they focus so much on their faces and um, like on the uh, on the video that I showed where I'm totally forgetting her name now. The artist that did the Romanian images with of all the children. Um, she added some rosiness to the cheeks as well. You know, she was real careful about like not just using one shade to color uh, the whole face and stuff. So that's another thing to think about and just being really subtle. So now that you know how to use um, your selection tools even better and uh, know how to do it a little bit more, I would recommend going back and giving this one another another round with your, your new new tool belt. Um, this image, I think this image was just a really hard one to, to start with because it's just so old that the, there's not a lot of detail, there's not a lot of details in here. There's a lot of information missing. So trying to hand color stuff that, you know, you're kind of guessing at where the edges are and stuff. It's, it's a, it's a hard task. So, um, but you know, I mean, you did do a good job on, on a lot of it. This little dress looks really good and getting all these little buttons done. Um, his hair seems a little wild, but maybe that's just how his hair is. I love this little flower in her hair. So overall, um, you know, I know this was a new skill that you were trying to learn, and, and, it's, and it's not easy. I get it. Um, I would have liked to see both of these images. Um, I would have liked to see the context changed more, like stuff removed and stuff added to uh, change the whole story of what's going on in the pictures. And that was really the, the main purpose of the assignment. I mean, that was the main, um, the main goal for the assignment was to cut things out and add them and subtract them to tell a different story. So uh, I don't see that in either of these. But other than that, I really appreciate all of your experimenting on these and giving these are giving, you know, I didn't give any real tutorials on how to do this. So you went about it all on your own. And I, and so, um, I want to commend you for giving that a shot. So just keep working hard. You're doing well.